Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to your JavaScript tutorial series. This video, we're gonna be talking about how you can list the properties of an object. I got this code essentially from the book, A Smarter Way to Learn JavaScript, which you guys can look up if you want. It's a pretty good book if you're looking for the basics of JavaScript. So what we have so far are these objects, and then we set the prototypes, and then we do a little bit of polymorphism stuff uh, down here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create a list called properties and we'll set this equal to an empty array. And if we wanna get all of the properties of an object, what we do is we say for, and in the for we can say, let prop in teacher. So this is going to iterate through each property in teacher, and we're going to name it prop for that iteration. So then what we can do is we can say properties.push, and we can push that prop into that array. Then if you wanna see all the properties, you can say console log and put properties in there. Doing a refresh, you can see we have a list of the properties, name, teaching, say hello, and active. Now the next thing is if you want to just get the properties directly on an object rather than throughout the entire prototype. So right now, scrolling up, you can look at the teacher and you can see we have name, teaching, and say hello directly on the object, which are the first three. But active comes from the prototype up here. So if we wanna get rid of those, here's how you do that. But first, I totally forgot to mention the sponsor at the beginning of this video, so go check them out. Are you looking for a JavaScript web development bootcamp? What about an iOS bootcamp? DevMountain offers classes online and in person with housing at no additional cost. Learn how to build real world applications and get a job in the industry through DevMountain's career centric program. Whether it's web development, iOS, user experience, or quality assurance, DevMountain has a class for you. Let them know I sent you their way and they'll give you $250 off the tuition. Link in the description. So what we're going to do now is inside of this for loop, we're going to say if teacher dot has own property and inside of the parentheses, we're going to pass in prop. If this is true, then it exists directly on the object so we can push it into the array. So we'll paste that there and clean this up just a little bit. Beautiful. Now when we do a refresh, we only get those first three name, teaching and say hello. Active, on the other hand, is not part of that list. So that, my friends, is how you get a list of properties on an object. Thank you guys for watching. In the next video, we're gonna be talking about converting object literals to constructors. So far, we've just been using object literals, but this is not a really scalable option if you want to create lots of objects. So thank you guys. I'll see you in the next video, and be sure to subscribe. Do it now.